It's completely natural for a child to feel shy and it's not uncommon for children to feel more comfortable watching things from a distance. So rather than be in the middle of the action. However, there are ways that you can support your child and help with their anxiety. And we've got Dr. Stephanie today. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming back. So can you tell us um, what do we see when we see shyness? Yeah. And what are your kids experiencing? Yeah, you know, I, I really wanted to say shyness is a personality trait. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just a, a way of interacting with the world. So kids who are shy um, can feel like they're on display. They feel like they're under scrutiny. Um, it, they feel embarrassed and they might have difficulty uh, engaging with others, especially people that they don't know well. And my understanding is, like you said, personality thing. People are extroverted, people are introverted. Mm -hmm. For kids maybe that are a little more introverted that right. show that shy gene. Exactly, you know, so again, just really reassuring your child that there's nothing wrong with them, but that this is something that takes a little bit of practice. As a parent, you can model pro-social behavior for your kids, and what that looks like is, uh, showing them what it's like to order your food at a restaurant, to approach a stranger for help, really showing your child how to do that and even breaking it down for them and helping them practice those skills before they're faced with that out in the world. And I know there's a lot of different things like social anxiety. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people even think of autism in terms of shyness. Mm -hmm. um, how can you distinguish between when a kid is just shy yeah. and introverted and maybe when sometimes they have social anxiety or they're actually in a stressful Exactly. Kind of situation. Yeah. So you might think of social anxiety as uh, the next step up. So uh, really what that looks like is um, a lot of distress around mm. social situations, you know, avoiding things that they might even like to do um, because, of, because of their anxiety. So it's really that, that kind of ramped up escalation of, of stress. Uh, kids who are shy, they can warm up and with some coaching and some support, they can, they can go on that sleepover or they can order their food in the restaurant and to cope. And you and I had discussed that I'm blessed with some amazing children. None of them are shy. I mean, they love strangers, mm -hmm. just myself. Mm -hmm. If I had a shy child, it might be a challenge for me to relate to them or to mm -hmm. understand where that's coming from. And, mm -hmm. and people might, I guess, in their own way, kind of misdiagnose and be like, well, you need to go out there and you need to do this and right. you need to do this. And what are some ways parents can try to rein it back in and remember that mm -hmm. these are personality types, not everyone is the same. Yeah, you know, I think as a parent, you are the expert on your own child. You know them better than anyone else in the world. And you can tell when they're experiencing significant distress, I think pay attention to those cues. If you really see your child struggling, give them some compassion, give them some grace. Uh, but if you feel like, oh gosh, you know, I think they would really have fun in this activity, uh, instinct on that. And I think it's important too not to fall into that kind of whole of being like, oh, well, they're shy, so I'm not going to make an effort to right. try to put them in anything. It's yeah. so important to stretch yourself. Yeah, you know, practice helps children too. All right, well, thanks so much, Dr. Stephanie Hansen from Sanford Health. Still ahead this morning, pairing physical therapy with good nutrition to get the best results. The experts from Apex are in next. <laughs>